Luca Campbell. Dale Jordan. Emerico Vespucci. Uh, incredible Division Three NCAA game, uh, super super high level. I mean, all credit to Muhlenberg. What like what a team! I mean, top top centennial team um, pushed us to our limit and beyond. Um, just fantastic advertising for D three soccer. Um, moments of incredible quality on both sides. Super super tight game. Very tactical game. Um, Conditions were perfect to play in. So again, just incredible brand um, for D3 Shocker. Uh, super enjoyable atmosphere, incredible. I just think, uh, again, it was a, such a tough, tight game. It was tough for anyone who was going to lose, but incredible. for like The fact that that was a first-round game is, is outstanding. Um, and Coach, uh, what was kind of the game plan uh, coming into today's game, and how well do you think the team executed? Uh, oh, the guys executed it incredibly. Um, Honestly, went above and beyond what what we probably had anticipated. Um, I felt, I mean, Muhlenberg have so many pieces. <sighs> to to just say it was a game plan or one one or two things would be would be massively unfair to them. Um, very well organized team. Um, tactically, cause you so many problems, and they've got two or three special players. I think like the keeper's incredible. Center back was incredible. Um, you know, uh, sim up front. Salim out wide, guys that if you give them lots of time, space, they can really, really hurt you. So I think for us was, uh, again, like most NCAA games is is mitigating errors, um, matching the moment of the game. I think the start of the second half and middle piece of the second half, they, they had us under tremendous pressure. But again, it's just trying to stay focused on those moments, trying to, again, just remove error from it. We knew there was moments and, and spaces would open at times in transition where we could potentially hurt them. And, uh, and, and again, that's pretty much where the two goals came from. So massively satisfying. Uh, so, Enrico, uh, can you kind of walk us through your goal? Uh, what happened on that play and, and kind of what was going through your head? Yeah, I think that throughout the whole game, it was definitely a challenge back and forth between two great teams. And I think that when it came down to it, our uh, one of our older guys, Dylan Moundy, he made an incredible tackle, which led us into an amazing position. We, just like practice, we set up a counterattack. And then all credit to Luca because I couldn't score that without him. He gave me a beautiful ball across the box, and I was just able to be another teammate and finish that. So fortunate that it was me, but completely team team goal right there. All right, and, and Luca, uh, you know, after 80-plus minutes of, of the scoreless game, uh, you all scored a couple goals in the, in the last 10 minutes. Um, you know, what kind of... Uh, what happened in the last 10 minutes that you were able to, to break through at the end there? Yeah, I think we just had to stay confident in, in what we've been practicing all year, especially as times got tough. We were handling a lot of pressure defensively. All credit to the lads defensively because they kept us in it there. And just when I came back on with 11 minutes to go, I knew that there was going to be a couple chances, and I just had to be ready to take them. Credit to Rico getting up with me in the front. And then Luke, when he came on, felt so good to get that second one and put that game away. And. Uh, you know, uh, what's kind of uh, uh, you know, the mindset of this team now as you, uh, as you advance on to another game? Just excited, grateful to play another day, you know, survive in advance, and we're looking forward to tomorrow. You know, we lost to Amherst last year. Took him to a good game, gave him a good game, and we're ready to try and do the same tomorrow. And, uh, and Mariko, just, you know, in the, in the course of this season, you know, such a, a really exciting game here. Kind of how does this, um, you know, how does this rank up with kind of some of the moments from this season? I think throughout the season, the boys get better and better, so games get more and more exciting. I think the whole NCAA tournament is an incredible tournament that goes on. It's extremely competitive. So I think that throughout our season, we've played some really challenging teams, but Muhlenberg played a great game and it was extremely challenging, and it's always exciting to play in games like these. So I think that the longer the season goes, the better the players get and the more competitive the games get. So it's definitely up there for one of our top few. All right, and uh, Coach, uh, we'll uh, give you the last word here. You know, so far it's kind of been a, a similar story to last year. You come Massachusetts, win a game in the dark jerseys, and, and <laughs> set up a second round match against Amherst. So, uh, what are you going to do to write a different ending this year? Oh, my goodness. Um, well, I think b before I answer that, I think to what Lucas said, it's just, it's, it's another 24 hours with, with our guys. It's another, you know, time to be together, to, you know, be around each other, have dinner together, just interact. It, it's amazing. Um, listen, when it comes to a juggernaut like Amherst, it's, it, you know, Coach Chapone has them so well coached. 
you know, perennial, you know, every year they're competing, they're final four, they're national finalists. Um, I think, again, it's just for us, it's just an amazing opportunity to go against. It's just an incredible program. It's a brilliant measuring stick for us. It's incredible for the younger guys to see the top level and for them to develop into that and to be able to compete against that someday um, is, is obviously a goal for them to see it live is, is even more important for their development. But uh, they've been incredible games. I mean, last year was a nail biter, was fun. And, you know, it's they're the best games. I mean, round of 32, it doesn't feel like a round of 32 game, you know, Stevens versus Amherst. It feels like it should be something that's later. But but we'll take it. We'll just enjoy the opportunity. And uh, we're just really excited to play tomorrow. All right. Thanks so much. Congratulations.